You're a good mama. You're such a good mama. Could you please move beyond that RBF? Yeah. Can you smile a little bit? Oh boy. Now I've really made her mad. So I just fed him and her inside the house. Let them warm up as it's a pretty blustery day. And I brought them back out and Kellyanne has clearly not had enough. Even though she ate twice as much as he did this time. Tilly's like, uh, I'm not really sure. So I know that Greg is eating pretty good from, where are you going? They want to hang out with you. Oh, bye. <laughs> I know that Greg's eating pretty good, but we're going to keep watching all these things. Oh, it's a CT fest. Okay. Keep watching everybody. And we're going to keep the cycle going of supplementing and in hopes that Tilly's milk comes in and that these guys can eventually just go back to eating on her. I don't know if he ever will. If you want me to be really honest here, I don't know. But <laughs> they're pretty active and he's starting to shape up in a better way if you notice. Hi, buddy. And his body temperature's been holding up, so I'm hoping, I am so, so, so hoping that we get things back on track here. But there goes Mama and her mini. Are you not going to go with them? He's like, well, you're my mom. I'll go with you. Greg, you forgot Ted. Come on. Come back over here. Come on. You know you want a nap. I just woke y'all up from a nap to bring you out here. I did. Why don't you come back in here and lay down? Your mama was laying down until I brought y'all out here because somebody screamed. <clears throat> somebody screamed. That's right. That was Ted. Ted the screamer. <laughs> oh, I love them so much. Look at him. You have to admit, that's getting better. That's getting much better. Look at his little posture. I'm feeling better about it. So, well, careful, Bubba. We will continue to work on him. Get him back to health. And hopefully he figures out how to nurse because he hasn't figured out that nothing comes out of Tilly's chest yet. Maybe he's a human born in a goat body. Maybe that's the problem with everything. Where'd you go, Greg? Come here. He looks like a choo-choo boys. Mom took Kelly in to go have a girl's day. All right. Let me get them all snuggled up here. I see you. I see you, handsome. Those white eyes. All right. I'll get them all snuggled up here, and then we'll be back to check on them in a few hours. Oh, they love each other so much. Until they're ramming each other in the, in the sides in a few weeks. It'll go by so fast. For now, though, a bunch of snuggle bugs. Here's the confusion. Yeah. Tilly. Tilly also was probably a bottle baby and was raised in a house with no other goats and she struggles to be a goat anyway. So we're going to figure even part of this out. It's a big deal. And I feel like today she's doing a little bit better than yesterday. But they... <laughs> gonna take some time I think oh my goodness it's also a pretty chilly day thank goodness the sun came out because it was it was starting out pretty ugly but the wind is something else and we're gonna have an exceptionally cold night tonight so we'll do the same thing and I'm just gonna live the life of newborns for a little while but it's what we do so oh, she just told them get back in there and go take a nap 
And I hope they do. I hope they make their way back in the corner. Tell them, Tilly. Tell them to go take a nap. You probably need a nap too, huh? It looks like it. My little diaper girl here. Go back in there. It's chilly out here, baby. I can't wait to see them in pajamas. That's going to be a fun day as well. All right, let's take a walk and go check on Sissy's babies too because I haven't... <laughs> oh, look at they're playing. This is what baby goats should be doing on day three. Starting to find their feet, hop around a little bit, figure out their balance, and I'm happy to see that it's starting. Oh! <laughs> Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. Learning their skin. Okay, for real now. I'm going to stop watching. And I'm going to go figure out what Sissy and her babies are doing. Y'all go take a nap together. Okay? I'll be back in a while. This is one of the sweetest things. So Sissy is out with the herd. And look. Those babies are out there being goats. And they are... Uh, this is even more weird. They all match over here. Not so much over here in this crowd. And Ringo is sitting in between them all. Let's go see if we can get a little bit closer. This is absolutely adorable. I love that they have found themselves on the hillside. Now if I can find myself a place to cross, that would be outstanding. Whew. We got a lot of work to do out here still. A lot of sticks to pick up, and I know, it'll come with time. I told Lester yesterday, I was like, I need a wagon to pull around. He goes, you have a tractor. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot. Because someone else drives it all the time. All right, let me cross the spring here. Okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, Hi, Sadie. You are here babysitting? You watching everybody to protect them? That's a good girl. Let's go see here. Like I said, it is a uh, chilly day. I'm actually in my winter clothes because it's like 45, but the sun being out helps so much. Y'all look so pretty here like you're up on a meadow. Uh-oh, I see Tucker and Candace. Oh. There's Ben. Hi, babies. Hi, friends. You got Roxy. You got Chip. You got Walter Mellon. You got Mama. And then you got the old crew over here. Plus Carrie. <laughs> and then you got Ringo. Hi, sweet loves. Laying in the sun. How are you? Oh, that made you excited? <laughs> She's like, yeah, the sun excites me. It really does. It excites me too, baby. Sissy, you're being a good mama. Hi, Candace. Hi, baby. Dad said that the babies run anytime he gets near them. Now, I might have just caught them at a good time, but ain't nobody running. No one's afraid. Oh, Ben, you're nice and warm. You're so warm. Why you look so mean, Candace? Why you got a mean girl face on, huh? How come? Oh, that feels good? That feels so good? You know I don't want to go back to work, right? That this is my favorite way to spend lunch. And that I have no desire to go back in there on Zoom. How are you doing, sis? You okay? You're looking so much better. You're a good mama. You're such a good mama. Could you please move beyond that RBF? Yeah. Can you smile a little bit? Oh boy. Now I've really made her mad. Mom, there's a lady touching me. She's touching me. Hi, my little tuck. 
when I talk to the babies, <laughs> Roxy's little tail goes crazy. Hi, Tucker. Oh. Hi, Mama. That feel good, sis. That feel so good. Oh, that sun's so good for y'all. That helps you with digestion and growth and it's a good day. They look so beautiful out here on this hillside. Sadie, you look pretty too, baby. Yes. You look very beautiful out here protecting everyone. Hi, Chipper. You being good? Go say hi to Ringo, okay? I'm not going to get you, Candace. She did. She had a little RBF out there. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, don't get up. It's okay. You don't have to get up. You can stay down. You can stay down. I just wanted to love you. You're out here protecting everybody. You still got it, huh? Beard's cold. You better put that in the sun, sir. Look at all these sticks we gotta pick up, Ringo. We got a lot of work to do. That'll be this coming week when it gets a little warmer. Mama will drive the tractor out here and we'll start piling up sticks, okay? You can help. Call it a goat playground if you want to for a while. Because it's going to take us a while to get that all cleaned up. I'm so proud of you. You know you're a great grandpa. Isn't that crazy to you? It's a little crazy to me. That Tucker has your little speckled ears. Oh, wee Ringo. It's getting chilly. It's getting awful chilly out here. go back to work now okay we have to check on you after a while but enjoy this sun I love you I love you so much lay back down okay just lay back down to rest get you some sunshine on your body <laughs> okay <laughs>